Hi everybody, this is Matt. We're continuing our series on the peripheral nervous system and today we're talking about the cervical spine and also the nerves that are communicated through the cervical spine. So once again, I'd like to thank the authors and publishers of Funksionella Anatomy, published in Berlin in 1990. And this is our presentation for today. It's similar in design to uh, previous presentations. And we'll go right to the cervical spine area. And you can see how complex the network of nerves are that exit the cervical spinal vertebra. And I won't go into detail as to all those specific nerves, but you can also see the vasculature that is the internal carotid artery uh, entering up into the brain if you go up along the cervical spine and that is the axillary artery that is um, down below there. So backing up just a little bit we will look at the arms and those nerves feed those specific dermatomes. It's very, very nicely divided and it's also interesting because it's not exactly uniform. You look at this raspberry colored uh, area. It serves the outer aspect of the upper arm but only below the area of the deltoid. Then a strip of the uh, posterior arm down to the thumb and the first finger. And on the inside of the arm, you see it covers the area, outer aspect of the brachial region of the arm, and then the outer aspect of the thumb. So it's quite fascinating how that is divided up in terms of what nerves um, are communicating with what areas of the body. And above, I'll just show this briefly, is a nice presentation of a vertebra and the detail of the exit of the nerves from the vertebra and then how it communicates out from there to the body. So anyways, that's another detailed impression of a specific part of the spine and how the nerves um, physically are positioned um, and how they exit the spine and what areas they communicate with and a little more detail as to how the spine itself um, is structured in terms of its nervous uh, communication and anatomy and how that plays a role in the whole conduction of the peripheral nervous system. And that is it for today. Have a great day.